The Death of the Goddess, a poem in 12 cantos by Patrick Cullum Hogan, with a preface by Rachel Fell McDermott, published in 2014 by Two Leaf Press. From Canto Six, The Birth of the Goddess. Spring came. With that first thaw, the ethereal goddess, virgin girl, savage, little beauty, fierce nature, sacrifice, food giver, goddess of tears, mother of all, took on again her fluid form. She was the frozen lakes, the snow, now melted into flux, first slow drops and trickles of pale blue, carving erratic paths through caves of ice, then runnels no broader than a woman's hand and clear as air. They grew to glittering soft streams, their muffled rush, the goddess whisper murmuring beneath the shrieks of wind that from the onset of the dream had pierced the air like widows keening. For a certain space the brook appeared to sink beneath the hard, hoary, crusted earth, or just to end, then suddenly the white, unyielding surface of a broad expanse that seemed to bear all weight as solid land cracked to jagged flows that split again to many shards when hurled against the rocks by the growing violence of waves. Then, tumbling unexpectedly across the threshold of its firm bed, the river plunged headlong into the wisps of air and mere blank space that stretched between the divine and human place. Before this, there was no flowing water on the earth to parallel the ocean of the gods. There were no seas to isolate and link the different lands, no rivers to bear commerce between towns, no lakes that would sustain a settled life for those who live and die many times in grandfathers one day and night. After that first fall, the river spread throughout the mortal world, flowing into countless channels that would in time speed conquest, plunder, and the exercise of will by the few who hold the greatest stores of gold and who wield the sharpest, hardest spears and swords. But after these mere secular streams drained whatever was profane from the heavenly source, a gathering fall of pristine rain reshaped the newborn goddess into one final form the end toward which each mortal body strives. Beloved Ganga, who carries in her cradling arms to final rest all that remains of human lives. <laughs>